In this video, I'm going to be going over how to profit switch your FPGAs. In a previous video, I covered how to get uh, your FPGA, in my case the Black Miner F1 from Hash Altcoin, set up in HiveOS. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can do profit switching utilizing that setup. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to hop over into our mining tools app and then we're going to make sure we're on at least version 2.0 which we are. If you're not, make sure you update. And then we're going to head over to the HiveOS rig section and we've got all of our GPU rigs. I'm just going to hit import, have it bring in everything that's not configured yet and we're going to configure our F1 Mini. So we're going to come in here and we're going to edit this and change from profit to Zerg Pool Algo Profit Basis. Hit update. We're going to leave it disabled for now. We're going to select it again. And down here you can see we now have access to the Zerg Pool Algos. So instead of switching like we do with our GPU rigs, where we've got specific coins we're going after. With our FPGA, we actually want to go after specific algos. So then what we're going to do is we're just going to do add new record. We're going to select the algo. So the first one I'm going to do here is, uh, let's just go ahead and let's start with Odocrypt. Uh, there's actually uh, no current profitability on Odocrypt. So let's go with BMW512 start with this one. We'll just go in order. And my hash rate I know is approximately 700 mega hashes at 30 watts. So we're going to plug that in. In our flight sheet I have everything prefixed with F1 Mini. So we're going to select the BMW 512 one. Go ahead and enable that. Hit update. Then we're going to add our next one. Uh, and then so let's do JIC. And our hash rate on this one is now this very important. The hash rate needs to be in mega hash. And that's because Zerg Pool applies a mega hash factor to all of their calculations. So for this to work, we our, AC, or our F, FPGA is 2.18 giga hash. So we're actually going to do 2,180 mega hash here. And our power consumption is 50 watts. And let's go ahead and select that flight sheet. Go ahead and turn that one on. And we'll go ahead and configure the rest of these real quick. There's only a few. All right, and then the, so we've got all those configured. The other thing I like to do is I like Aon. However, Aeon is not, or Eon, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. It's not on Zergpool. However, I like to direct mine it occasionally. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this in here. Uh, I'm gonna leave my hash rates as zero, zero because it doesn't really matter. And we're going to set our flight sheet. And what I like to do here is occasionally what I'll do is I will pin that algo. So I previously went over how to pin certain coins to your GPO rigs for HiveOS. Here you can also pin a specific algo. So in this case I could pin K12, turn that on, and it will always mine K12 for me. Or if I wanted to actually profit switch with the others, oops, I can oops, just remove K12. And it'll never hit this because it's not part of the Zerg calculations. However, it's still there as an option on the FPGA side. So that's pretty much all there is to configuring uh, the FPGA side. Uh, for the algo switching and again you just have to make sure you have all your flight sheets set up within HiveOS and these are all of the this is a real-time pull of all the algos that are supported on 
uh, Zerg pull. So if there's anything you're not seeing in here that you think should be pulling in, check Zerg pull. Make sure it's an active uh, algo. Sometimes they don't always have active algo. So what you'll see is, as an example, if I jump down here, uh, last night, as an example, Odor Crypto is in here. It's not today. Uh, it may pop back up in sometime, or it may not. Uh, they've been hit or miss. A lot of pulls have been hit or miss lately on Odocrypt, which is DGB, uh, Digibyte's algo for um, FPGAs. But that's it. This will configure. This will then start profit switching based on those Zerg pool calculations. And if we head back over here, to our dashboard uh, it hasn't ran yet I have mine set up to run every 15 minutes but when it runs it'll run through profit switching calculation let me just double check make sure I turned off the pin I did so yeah it'll run through those calculations and then in a future video I might cover how to do the CPU rig as well uh, you can take full advantage of the Zerg pool algo uh, on a CPU rig. Uh, as an example, this is a mini PC. There's no GPUs or anything in this. If I were to set this thing to Zerg, and then I could start adding uh, things like Varus hash. Right? I could start adding uh, Varus hash. I could add uh, another example would be all of the uh, yes scripts, but like Quoz uses. So we've got Yes script R16, R32, Yes power. These are all CPU mineable algos. You can add all of those, and that will profit switch between those. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the new Zerg pull algo switching, and let me know if there's any enhancements uh, or future requests you might have.